Hello, and welcome to Art with Miss Clary. Today, we're going to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month by creating a drawing of a sombrero. A sombrero is an oversized sun protection hat accessory for outdoor workers, or it became popular for more formal events. And it can be used to keep the sun off if you work outside, or you can wear it to a formal event. Uh, we saw mariachi bands who have adopted now wearing these hats. The word sombra in Spanish means shade. So let's take a look at the construction of these hats before we start drawing. This really large one, look at this. This is very fancy and it's felt. This is a more formal style sombrero. Look how this is called a brim of the hat. And this is the top. So notice the brim of the hat is very, very large. But this is a fun hat that can is more like used for celebrations or it can be used outside, but it's very, very colorful. Sombreros have actually um, become very collectors when people go on vacations uh, to collect these style hats. Notice this one has a cone shape for the top and it still has a really wide brim. So when we draw these today, we're gonna to be drawing a really wide brim in this cone shape. Notice this one has striping. Those are straight lines and these are diagonals, almost like zigzags. So we're gonna be learning today about pattern and we're gonna learn about repetition to create a sombrero in honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month. And today you will need a piece of white paper. You will need a pencil, an eraser, some crayons, and some markers. Now let's get started drawing the sombrero. So my paper is turned horizontal. So horizontal is side to side. So we're going to add what I call some reference dots. Um, so what we're going to do is add a dot on each side. So go to the short side here and kind of put your finger near the center. The center is the middle from the top to the bottom and put a dot. Remember, you want to erase this dot light later, so don't make it really, really big. And then put your finger on the dot and go all the way across to the other side of the paper and add a second dot. Now, we're going to be using our different types of lines today and our different types of shapes today when drawing the sombrero. So the first type of line we're going to be using is a curved line. So you're going to connect these two dots with a slight curved line. It's okay if it doesn't connect exactly. Then we're going to use the diagonal line and diagonal is at an angle. So we're now gonna draw a diagonal down on one side. Draw a diagonal down on the opposite side. You don't wanna go all the way to the bottom though. You kinda of wanna stop before you get to the bottom. Now you're gonna connect these two diagonal lines with a curved line that matches the one above. I'll extend my diagonal a little bit so I can meet it. All right, now a sombrero has a cone-like top to the top of the hat. So we're actually going to draw like a half of an oval that is kind of facing upward, like a half of an oval. Or it's an upside down letter U. Right in the center. Now we need to add the back of the hat. So please watch, so we don't want to draw through the cone portion of the hat. 
I'm gonna start on one side and slight curve in, stop. Go to the other side and then connect it with a slight curve to the dot. There we have the basic outline of the sombrero. I am going to pause here just for a second for you guys to get caught up with me and then we're gonna to move to the next part of the sombrero. Let's talk about one of our vocabulary words, repetition. Repetition in art is simply repeating a single element many times in a design. So we talked about the first two elements of art. We talked about lines and shape. So today we're going to be repeating some of these within our artwork. So I want to show you how that would look. So if I take a line, I'll take a zigzag line, and I repeated it. That is considered repetition. I'm using a shape. I'm going to use a circle. I repeated it. That is considered repetition. So when you create repetition in art, you're also creating what's called pattern in art. Pattern in art is a repeat of lines, shapes, and color. It is one of our principles of art. So let's create repetition on our sombrero. Okay, here's the drawing that we just completed. So I'm now gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna start here and I'll pick one of the different types of lines or I might wanna pick a shape and I am going to repeat it here on the front part of the brim of the sombrero. So I think I'm going to pick this cloud line or bumpy line, um, but I'm gonna draw it a little bit upside down. You can follow me. You may do a zigzag line. It may be a broken line. It could be a wavy line. So you can pick any type of line you want. I am going to do this cloud line. You can follow me or you can pick any type of line you choose. Okay, I'm also going to add one more element on the brim. You may choose that element to repeat. It could be another type of line. It could also be another type of shape. I'm going to use a circle to repeat. So I'm going to draw a circle right at the point of each one of these lines. But notice I did not change shapes. I just kept repeating the same shape on that area. Now you really can't see this pattern in the back of the hat because it's in the behind it. So you really do not include a pattern here. The only other place we're gonna include a pattern is here on the top of the hat, the cone shape. So here we go. So you can pick any type of line or shape you want to use to repeat on top. I am going to use, I think, a zigzag. And I'm gonna repeat that. And to make a zigzag, it's easier if you don't make one continuous line and you just keep making diagonal, straight lines. So now I have a pattern on the top of the hat and on the brim of the hat. So now let's go ahead and create color and outline everything for the next part of the lesson. I'm gonna pause it here for you to catch up. 
The next step we're going to do is called outlining. Outlining is when you trace over all of your pencil lines using a marker or a crayon. You can use either one. I am going to use a marker today and I am actually going to create this sombrero green. So the first thing you got to decide is what color is your sombrero. And my first one was orange. Um, so this time my sombrero is going to be green. So pick any color you like and you're going to you open the marker and put the lid on the back so you don't lose it. And I'm going to trace over just the outline of the sombrero at this point, not the pattern. So take your time. This is the outside of the sombrero. It's okay if you don't stay totally on the pencil line. Next, I'm going to choose a color for my first repeated line here at the top. I think I'm going to choose um, red. We'll choose something different. So outline your first element. Now change colors and outline your second element. I'm going to switch to yellow. And sometimes on the markers, you have to let it dry before you put your hand over it so it does not smear. So you have to let it dry before you put your hand back on top. And then I'm going to choose uh, one more color to outline the top. Or you can choose two colors. I could have um, two colors in the zigzag. It could be um, blue, red, blue, red. But you can alternate two colors or you can choose one color. I think I'm going to choose um, two colors this time. I am going to alternate blue and purple. So my first line, I'm going to do blue, or your first element, whatever you chose to add. I'm going to skip one and then go to the next because this is creating pattern. All right. Remember when the markers close, it snaps. Please do not dry out. Next color. Remember we're just outlining with the markers. We are not coloring in with the markers because that way our markers stay nice and fresh. They don't run out, so snap close. So now you have outlined, and I'm gonna get my crayons. The first thing I want to do is I'm gonna color in the smaller shapes or smaller areas of line before I color the rest of my sombrero green. So I'm gonna keep these dots, my circle's yellow, but whatever elements you have that you're repeating, take a crayon and go ahead and color that in. Or take your time so you stay within the shape. So now I'm going to go to the top of the hat. I think I'm going to alternate the blue and the purple. Remember, you can use any color you like within your sombrero. Skip a spot. I'm creating pattern. And I'm trying to color nice and even so I can fill in all those white areas. I'm kind of coloring with the line that I outlined with. And then I'm going to skip a spot because it's going to be purple. And this little bit of bottom part right here will still be blue. Now, you could have had stripes. Stripes is a good idea, too, to use for the top of a hat. 
this pattern is called chevron. Whenever you have um, a zigzag pattern repeated, it's called a chevron. And now I'm gonna fill in with my second color. So you may have triangles on the top of your hat. But remember that we're repeating line, shape, and color to create what is called pattern in art. And pattern is one of our principles of design that uses the elements of art, line, shape, and color. Wow, so I've got the top part of my hat done now. Now I'm gonna go choose a green. And this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm probably gonna pause here in a few minutes. But I'm gonna start coloring in my sombrero. Now, with the, if you have a line here, you'll color over it. I could have went here and colored this area a different color than this area. But I think I'm gonna color the whole thing one solid color. But you can see how I'm gonna round any shapes that might be there. Taking my time. And I'm going up to the top. So take your time, fill in those white areas. Look at that, I go back over it. And also, while you're coloring in, you're gonna color in this section as well, okay? So you'll color around your shapes here, um, up to the lawn, and then you'll color the back of the hat. So I am going to pause here to finish coloring it and for you guys to finish coloring it, and then we'll come back and look at the finished colored sombrero. As you can see here, I have finished coloring in my sombrero. I chose green for this one. I took my time and trying to get all those white areas. Um, you remember your sombrero can be any color you choose. I chose orange on this one, and then I used green on this one here. But if you look really close, you can see I used two different oranges to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. This is not necessary, but I will show you how to do this if you would like to. Um, otherwise, it's perfectly fine with being one flat color. To do that, you would need to use a have a color that has two different colors a light a light shade and a dark shade the same color so this one i use the light green and if you have a darker color you can kind of go back over it very lightly at the bottom very i'm coloring very very light with this darker green if i colored hard you'd be able to see it so i'm coloring very very lightly just to give it a little bit of dimension. So let's get actually the bottom. And then because this goes behind, I'm gonna go with the same dark color. And remember, if you use the orange, you would have to use a darker orange or maybe a red very lightly to do this. If you use the blue, you'd have to use the lighter blue for the sombrero or then the darker blue to do a little bit of shading. But I just did just a little bit here at the bottom here and here. Remember, this is not necessary. This is just an extra little tip. But, so if you're a really good cutter, because we really haven't talked about cutting skills yet, you can trim out your sombrero if you like. Um, otherwise, it is completely fine how it is. Just sign your name and you are ready to submit your sombrero lesson. See you next time.